In early June, I had a work trip to Northwest Montana. On my first day, I wasn't able to record any campgrounds, but was able to stop while driving along Flathead Lake and record a few quick clips seen here. Flathead Lake has over 200 square miles of water and 185 miles of shoreline, making it the largest natural freshwater lake west of the Mississippi, in the lower 48 states at least. There are 13 public camping areas around Flathead Lake that are maintained by Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. Six or seven of those are state parks. The southern half of Flathead Lake is within the boundary of the Flathead Reservation and requires the purchase of a tribal recreation permit. My campground recon began a few days later at Hungry Horse Reservoir, where I recorded the first four campgrounds in this series. The fifth video in the Montana series will be a campground just outside of Glacier National Park and will include some scenery from inside of the park. Today I'm in the Flathead National Forest, probably about uh, 10 to 15 miles outside of the west entrance to Glacier National Park. I'm at the Hungry Horse Dam, which holds back the Hungry Horse Reservoir. We're going to check out a few of the campgrounds up here. Henry Horse Reservoir is nearly 24,000 acres. So just to the right of that island out there and this way, check out that eagle's nest up on top of that tree there. Let's look at the dam down here. Campsite 14, that's Doris Creek, and then 4 and 5 right next to it, that's uh, Lost Johnny, and then Lost Johnny Point, and then number 4 that we visited in the series, uh, Campground 6 here, that's uh, Lid Creek Campground. So we barely made a scratch in all of the campgrounds around here. Uh, paved road until you get just past Lid Creek campground. So I think uh, just like, I don't know, quarter mile past there. Pretty cool area. First campground tour is Doris Creek Campground here at Hungry Horse Reservoir, Flathead National Forest. It's a pack it in, pack it out campground. Site one, it's a pull through site on the right. There's the camp host. Three is the silver RV. Five was the red truck. Nice view of the lake off to the right. Unfortunately, I only get one camera with me. So Doris Creek flows right down into the reservoir here. Nice. Site six here, this pull through site on the right where the Jayco is. Nice. Eight on the left, seven was right before it. Site nine, it's a double wide site. Got the creek 
creek behind us here. Just a little short loop here. Ten on the right. Somebody's got that one. Fees are sixteen dollars per site per night. Stay limit sixteen days. Another look at site one. As we come back out. Pretty nice. I wish I had more time to check out all the campgrounds here.